Now this method works on practically any mushroom. It's been verified by a ton of people that I taught in different settings using different brands of rice. The main thing you need is spores in the form of liquid cultures and they usually come in syringes. This is everything you need. And I know it looks overwhelming, but the majority of this stuff is to keep things sterile. See, I don't use a still air box and the cardinal rule when it comes to growing mushrooms is keeping things sterile. If you live in a musty house or you're not the type to take showers every day, then this probably won't work for you. With mushrooms, cleanliness is vital. So first things first, before you begin, shut off all the fans in your house. This includes the vents in your room you're sterilizing. You want zero airflow. So even your stank breath needs to get masked with the leftover N95. We're also gonna wear gloves. These are nitrile. Just make sure they're powder free. Everything I use is linked in the description and the majority of this stuff could be found at your local pharmacy or Dollar Tree. Now, clear your work table and sterilize it with a combination of rubbing alcohol and Lysol. Use both of them lavishly. I have my alcohol in a mister and I spray every square inch of the surface, then I wipe it down, then I do it again with Lysol. I'm also gonna spray the air above and around me, then return all the supplies back to the work table and spray and wipe down everything thoroughly. These Uncle Ben rice bags are 7.5 by 5.5 inches. So you wanna find a container that's as close to this size and fill it up with an inch of rubbing alcohol. You wanna be able to completely dunk the rice bags so that every square inch of the surface could be sterilized. Make sure you get alcohol on the bottom of the bags and afterwards wipe it down with some clean paper towels and double check to make sure everything you're using was wiped down too. Now, when it comes to these rice bags, it's pretty much a flat brick of rice. You wanna squish the rice down so the bag becomes like a Capri Sun. To do this, using your thumb, completely break apart the brick so there's no chunks. Then, Take your fingers and place them behind the top back of the bag and squeeze down using the palm of your hands. Now, aggressively bend your wrist up and down while squeezing to push all the rice down. You could move the bag in a snake-like motion. Once the majority of it is out, place the bag on a flat surface and push down on the words Ben's Original to push the rice down. At this point, I like to use a stiff credit card to swipe down any grains I may have missed. Your goal is to have no grains above the word ready rice. Now, do this same process with the rest of the bags. Next, you're gonna grab your mushroom spore syringe. This should come with a needle that's already sterilized, but I still sterilize the outside of the bag just in case. Set this aside, and now you're gonna grab your bag of rice and some micro-pore tape. We're gonna strategically place three pieces of tape onto the bag, and the idea is to as rapidly seal these holes as you're making them. First, cut off a piece that's around an inch long and place it directly on the bottom center of the bag, but only stick it on the top. Next, we're gonna roll two circles of tape and place them right here and here. You want it so the edge is right on the top of the bag so you can unravel this down. I like to place both pieces of tape so that it's centered right on the left and the right of the word bends. Now, we're ready to flame sterilize the syringe so that we could jab the bag. Using a lighter, Light up the syringe from the tip to two inches in. We wanna quickly poke a hole around halfway down while holding onto the flap of micropore tape. Warning, I'm only poking the syringe near the window for the purpose of this video. Usually, 
I do it further into the bag where I won't see it and risk poking the plastic. Now the amount of liquid you'll need varies by strain, but I find that around 0.6 milliliters is the sweet spot with these bags. Once injected, quickly remove the syringe and immediately seal the hole shut with the tape. Next, we want to cut two holes up top for fresh air exchange. Right under the top left piece of tape, you want to pinch a vertical line of the bag out. You want to be careful though, because you don't want to pinch the back part of the bag out as well. You could turn the bag to sneak a peek, and as long as you didn't grab it, grab your scissors and cut a small triangular hole that's around the same size as the hole in E in bends. After the cut, push down on the hole to flatten it, then roll the piece of tape down and do this again on the piece of tape on the right. Again, pinch the bag right around the center bottom of the tape, make sure you didn't grab the back, cut a small triangular hole, flatten it, then roll the tape to seal the hole. At the end, check the back of the bag to make sure you didn't accidentally cut a hole. If it's good, that's it. We got our first bag set up. Continue to do this with as many bags as you want, and when you're finished, just place these bags upright or on their back in a dark room that's as close to a stable 78 degrees Fahrenheit as possible. In five to 20 days, you should see some fluffy white mold expand, and that's exactly what you want. If you see any blue, that means you got contaminated and you have to do this again. If you see orange, that means you put too much liquid. If you value this content, like, subscribe, and hit that bell.